Hello my friends, uh, good evening. I hope that all of you are doing fine. And today while waiting for my class to come, I decided to have some sharing with you to make use of this little time, a few minutes of my time, so that I could uh, record some important um, uh, discussion with you. And today I'm going to talk about what does it take to be in the graduate school. You know, the professional life that we live today is fraught with a lot of changes and challenges and it requires a lot of adjustment and we need to uh, really demonstrate our competency in the field that we are doing. That's why many young professionals and even adults uh, decide to enroll in graduate school in order to be able to uh, achieve their career plans. So what does it take to be in the graduate school? Uh, my friends, of course, just like in any other graduate school, we always uh, we we have our own set of criteria, wherein we evaluate our students, and this criteria is the basis for our decision whether to admit or not to ab admit a particular student. But in any case, when you are admitted, or let's say you are assuming that you will be admitted, there are three elements that you have to consider in order to be able to successfully hurdle the admissions uh, process. The first thing is, if you want to study in the graduate school, the first element is there should be planning. Because you know, studying in the graduate school is not like a walk in the park. It's not a one-time decision that you make, but rather it is a decision that you arrive at undergoing several process or several stages of deliberation and consideration with yourself because you have to think whether you have to plan how all this requirement will fit into your schedule so in order to be able to successfully plan you have to consider your career plans what are your career goals what do you wish to achieve in your career and maybe it also involves what kind of position you would like to have in the hierarchical uh, organization of your of your work or perhaps you would like to determine what kind of achievement that you want to accomplish to contribute to your uh, to your institution then sec uh, also aside from planning um, including in this planning you also have to determine the competency uh, the competencies that you want to develop meaning you have to conduct self inventory what are the things that i have and how can i develop what i have how can i expand my ability and what are those things that i need that i need to acquire these are the things that you need to do in planning to enroll in the graduate school then second you must possess the proper attitude so when you enroll in the graduate school remember that the foremost uh, characteristic that is, that will be um, demanded of you is your scholarship because when you are a scholar you must display a certain degree of diligence a certain degree also of character and truthfulness remember that in the graduate school plagiarism is a mortal sin you should never commit that mortal sin be because it can cost your entire career in the graduate school remember that um, as uh, researchers we have to be objective we have to be truthful and we must also practice a high level of ethics in our practice in the practice of our profession and also this kind of diligence that i am talking about is part of the attitude of a scholar <coughs> you have to be sorry you have to be diligent in what you do that's why you notice that when you enroll in the graduate school your professors will require you to write papers term papers you have to write your thesis and dissertation. They set uh, formats and standards. They check your grammar, not only grammar, but the formats and how you present your paper in a standard way. Because this is part of diligence. Because when you're a scholar, you do not just write papers for the sake of writing and then submit it, but rather you have to include everything. As they say, you must include the devil in the details of your paper. And everything should be uh, should be taken care of 
in the way you write your paper it's not just for the sake of passing you know you know in uh, sometimes in the undergraduate uh, students sometimes uh, some students would submit projects for the sake of submitting um, just to be able to beat the the time the deadlines but in the graduate school it should not be rather we write papers we submit papers because we want it to be better we want our papers to contribute to the body of knowledge where we are um, um, we are professing okay then third is there must also be consistency what do i mean by consistency what i mean by consi consistency is that um, is that when when you enroll in the graduate school you must make a clear decision to finish your study so it's not uh, it's not that today you want to do it and then tomorrow you would like to quit but rather when you enter when you enroll in the graduate school it must be that you have to finish uh, you have to start and to finish everything that you have started and i think if you possess all this kind of attitude if you consider this all all of these elements in your in your plans to enroll in the graduate school i think uh, you will be successful in your endeavor so thank you my friends and i hope that i was able to share with you some important thoughts and please don't forget to to like and to subscribe also to my channel if you wish so thank you my friends and good night